Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel! Well, today is a happy day because we're gonna load another batch of this catfish to the mud pan. In the last video that we had, we made mention about the success of our harvest because out of the 5,000, we were able to harvest 90% of the total baby catfish that we have loaded in just a short period of time. I counted this and it only runs up to 90 days, that's uh, barely 3 months, that we raised this catfish in the mud pan. And I am now fully convinced, because this is my first time to do this uh, catfish farming, I am fully convinced that mud pan is really essential if you're gonna engage in this catfish farming. And as you can see here, we are actually now harvesting the baby catfish. And this catfish are just 10 days old from hatch and there is one thing that i would like to emphasize about this catfish farming when we're gonna breed our catfish it is important that after 10 days we're gonna put them in a bigger tank and in my case i'm gonna put them in a big mud pan in order to prevent cannibalism and this is the thing that i have observed because some of this catfish will really grow big faster than the rest of the siblings and they will become carnivorous they will eat their siblings that it will somehow cause the failure of our effort to propagate massively this kind of fish and uh, what I'm doing is to address the problem of course after 10 days we're gonna put them in a bigger container so that the inferior babies of this catfish can hide in the mud and this is the thing that we're doing right now and a little later in this video you're gonna experience how we're gonna load these things we already have prepared our mud pan we have conditioned the water and it's been three days now that this water had been stuck in the mud i am quite sure and confident that this water is already good and best for our baby catfish so for the meantime we are catching these babies and as soon as we can catch at least 80 to 90 percent we will go directly to the mud pan and release them to their new environment. Let me say that the key to handling this baby catfish is patience. Because if you will become impatient, and you will roughly deal with them, they will die. I am sure of that. This is the principle that I always emphasize with our staff, that whenever we gonna handle baby fish, we have to handle this carefully and be patient about it. So you will witness now that Abby is carefully transferring this baby catfish in the plastic bags. We will put the babies in these plastic bags and of course, we will use the oxygen so that they will not become stressed. Though some will say that it is no longer needed, but in my case, I really prefer to put oxygen in order to assure the best health and condition of our fish and of course their safety. And guys, maybe you were interested to know about the dimension or the measurement of our breeding tank. Actually, this catfish were bred just right here. And the dimension of this is just around 7 to 8 meters in length. And we have the width of 1 meter and the depth of at least 1 fourth meter. That's very shallow and very small uh, breeding tank. And during the breeding, of course, we employ the natural method and uh, we will just allow the catfish to you know lay eggs very naturally we'll just put them together and then that's it 
and I already have so many videos about the tips on how to do these things. You can browse all our videos. This is one of the lucrative businesses in fish industry because these are for food consumption. They are consumable. So the fast selling of this is really highly expected if you're gonna, you know, engage in this, uh, in this farming. So guys, finally we are here and I will do this myself because I want to experience the joy of releasing this uh, baby catfish right here at the mud pond. I normally do things on my own because I wanted to make sure that this catfish will really survive. In the future, this catfish also will be the main focus of the business of this farm. And I believe that this catfish is also very instrumental in growing some of our vegetables, such as this pechay, this lettuce, mustasa, and many others. And I would like to also try this one using the catfish. So we will open this. You will see now that the babies are very eager now to swim in this very big place for them. And I am sure that they will really grow fast. Okay, this is the best place for you. I will open this one. Of course, Ryan will float this one first. And we have the wrap estimate that this catfish will reach around 10,000 heads. So, of course, temperature is just okay. Wow. This mud pan is really best for them. And maybe guys, you will note that we tied this with, you know, at the bottom ends of this uh, plastic, we tie this up with rubber band in order to prevent this catfish from uh, dying. Because there is a tendency that they will be stuck over here and they will die. So we put this, so we tie this up with rubber band. Come on, go out. I know you will enjoy this place. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. Plenty. So we will hurry this up because it's about to rain. <laughs> oh. Okay, go out. Catfish, go out. This is the best, this is the best place for you. Okay. Go out, go out, go out. Swim! Swim! Okay. Yes! You will multiply. You will grow big. So we finally released some 10,000 fry of this catfish and three months from now, I believe we can make a good harvest just like what we did before. We throw them here for three months and then the three months old up to six months will be the fattening stage wherein we will put them in a concrete tank. We will feed them and of course, uh, there's a time that we're gonna sell them. But for the meantime, I'm not going to sell them because I'm thinking about the aquaponics and we will use their waste to grow these vegetables. And let me tell you guys that this business of catfish is best achieved when we have this kind of environment, we have this kind of mud pond. And maybe you are interested to know about where is our water supply? Well, as of the moment, we are actually utilizing the water from the rice field because uh, this is a low-lying area where we can, you know, just get the water 
we will use the submersible pump and then lift this water from here down there at the mud pan. And this water is good. Actually, catfish will not require a very clean water because they are mud fish. They can just survive with this kind of water. And I'm very proud that along the side of this mud pan, we already have planted some papaya. And uh, this is what I am very proud about to, you know, do this integrated farming. And uh, in the future, God willing, we will extend another big pond right here over this portion for our catfish. So we're just making a research, a study on this, how to breed, how to grow them, and developing a system, a perfect system, on how to go about this business. So guys, you will see that all the catfish that are here are already settled. They have adjusted with, you know, the new environment. And I am trying to develop a good system of integrating this fish to the plants. I mean, this aquaponic things. And I believe that this catfish can be a good source of ammonia that will be needed by the plants. I'm planning to use the water of this catfish, which contains ammonia, of course, and then lift this water inside the plant box. And then the plant box will also, at the same time, serve as the filtration system of the tank. I don't know if this will work, but as what I have promised, we will learn this together. You can make suggestions, you can educate me, and tell something about your experiences that are beneficial to our viewers and also to our, to our Dexter's World family. And in the future, we're gonna be sharing with you some techniques. If this will work, of course, you as our subscribers will be the first to know the techniques and methods we employed that will lead us to prosperity and success. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe so that you will be notified of our future uploads. We are uploading videos every three to five days, only here at Dexter's World.